front of me are 10 different Minecraft builds, each of which being built from the Construction Handbook, an official guide to Minecraft building. But if you take a closer look at them, you can tell that they're not exactly the best. Which is why in this video, I'm going to be upgrading every single one of them, starting with the wooden house. Because this is the first build in the book, it could obviously use some improvements. I mean, come on, this is supposed to be a stage. So I think that the first and easiest step to upgrading this house is to replace the windows with glass panes. Another easy trick you can use is to add stair blocks to the front of the roof to add a little more depth to the build. Okay, the house is starting to look better, but it could still use some improvements, so I'm just gonna finish up in this time lapse. That's the house part of the build complete, but if you want to have a good house, then you also have to have a good backyard. And what I have right now isn't exactly the best, which is why I removed the original garden and replaced it with a much better one. Okay, well that took longer than it should have, but look at it now, it's beautiful. The next build that we're going to be upgrading is the fortified wall. Okay, so I think that the tower itself actually looks okay, but it's the wall that needs the upgrading. To start, I remove the fire and replace it with campfires. I think if I put walls here, it'll probably improve it. But yeah, now if I repeat this down there, it should make it look a lot better. I'm going to try using this block palette as a replacement for the cobblestone and see if it makes it look any better. Okay, let's see how this looks in 3, 2, 1. You know, on second thought, I think I'm going to remove the stone stairs. Alright, yeah, that fixed it. But I think that with this part, I'm going to replace the entire outer layer and then completely change it. I was thinking that arches might look good on this, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, that might actually look pretty good if I add some detail to it. Okay, it's getting better, but I don't think it's still quite good enough. Alright, yeah, I think that's as good as it's going to get, so let me just paste this design on all four sides. Alright, that's one side, two, three, and four. Now all that's left to do is just to copy and paste this build all around where my city is going to be. So basically what I did was build an absolutely massive wall completely surrounding me. I think that it should be big enough to fit all the builds inside, but I guess we're just going to have to find out. I think that this next build in the handbook is probably the worst one. That's right, it's the throne room. Okay, so I think I'm going to start by removing the roof and walls. There we go. I also removed the pillars because they kind of sucked. And now it's time to actually start building. As you can see here, I experimented a lot with the roof design until I finally found one that worked. not the greatest build ever, at least from the outside. But on the inside, I would say that it's definitely an improvement. Alright, the next thing that we're going to be upgrading is the bridge. Okay, but first I need to make a river for it to go over. And finally, I pasted the bridge in and completely upgraded it. Now that the bridge is done, it's finally time to upgrade the pixel arts. Okay, maybe I want to take it back that this was the worst build. The only thing that I'm thinking is that I could switch the flower type to like a rose or something. I mean, I can't really think of anything else, so I guess I'll have to do. I also found this cool trick where I added layers of glass to add some extra details that wouldn't normally be there. And now I have to upgrade this. It's literally just a bunch of blocks of glass. I have no idea how I can upgrade it. Okay, I actually thought of an idea for this one, but it's gonna involve some weird tricks. So if I copy and paste this behind it, what does this look like? Whoa, okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, what if I do it further? That's a pretty neat effect. Okay, I want to make it so that you can't actually see through it. I guess the only other thing that I could think to do to it is to add a cooler design around the outside. And that's those two builds completed. Let's see what's next. Well, sh Okay, so to make the actual lake that it's gonna be in, I'm just gonna be replacing all the dirt and grass with water. Now I have a little spot to build on, but first let me smooth that out a little bit. And there we go. Now it's time to actually start the building itself. Okay, so I think that I'm gonna start by making a staircase that actually leads up to the build. That wasn't the hardest thing to do, but now I have to actually build the structure itself. I think 19 by 19 blocks should be a reasonable size for it. Uh, that's kind of a cool design for a support pillar. And that's all four sides completed. I think if I paste this design a couple of times up, then it should look pretty good. Uh, yeah, that seems like an okay height. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can do with the walls here. 
I'm actually pretty happy with this design right here, so I'm just gonna paste it all the way around the build. I also pasted the staircase on this side and added some lily pads as well. Now that those two sides are done, I think I'm gonna come up with a design for these two sides. I think if I do kind of an oval shape and then replace the walls with what I have here, then that should make it look pretty good. Okay, I found a design that's simple and fits the build. Now all I have to do is paste it to the other side, and that's the bottom layer complete. Now that I look at it from a distance, I think that each layer needs to be a couple of blocks taller. And there goes the top. Now I need to come up with a design for these walls. I'm gonna start by creating a simple outline for a floor. Okay, that should be big enough to put the walls in. That's an okay entrance design, so now I think it's time to work on the windows. I put a little bit of glass there above the windows. I think I'm still gonna use the same design as they did in the book with the blue glass in front and the sea lanterns in the back. Okay, it's starting to improve, but it still does need a lot of work. I did edit a couple of things and it's starting to look a whole lot better now. Now that it's pasted on this side, it's time to start working on these two sides. I think I'll start by making the windows and also like a rail kind of thing for like a balcony. I don't really know. I actually completely forgot that warped trap doors exist, so now this build looks a whole lot better. And I think that's gonna be the final design. Um, now I have to do the roofs. Well, would you look at that? It looks like the interior needs some decorating. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna start with a simple cross in the middle of the room and also fill in the floor. Now we need to fix the walls. Uh, then we need to make some doorways. Now all that's left to do is to decorate the interior. Okay, I added a basic staircase here and I'll add some pillars to the corner of the room along with some other extra details. And I think that should be it. Ah, uh, the interior is done, but now I have to work on the roof. Oh, I don't want to do this. And while this time lapse is playing, I'd just like to ask you all to subscribe. This video took me a really long time to make and it would mean the absolute world to me. My god, I did not know that building roofs like this took so long. But now we're done with that, so I'm gonna move to something a little bit more important. The landscape. Since this build is probably the worst, I think I'm gonna make the front half sticking out and then the back half in like a mountain or something. I don't really know, it'll look better when I build it. And I guess while I'm at it, I'm gonna finish landscaping the rest of this area. Okay, so far we're making great progress, but up next is the floating island. I'm gonna start this build not in the sky, but on the ground. You see, by using world edit and making spheres out of sand, I can make the shape of an island and then paste it into the sky. Okay, I think that's the shape of the island completed. I just now realized how big this thing is. Now I'm gonna turn it all into dirt. And copy this whole area. Now it's flipped upside down, so let me just paste it in. Okay, uh, something went wrong here. I would say that looks pretty good, but I think before I do that, I'm gonna make the top a little bit less flat. Okay, it's improving now, but I still definitely do need to add some leaves. Now that I have some leaves added, I think I'm gonna add a couple of smaller islands floating around it. All right, we got another one right here and a really small one over there. All right, so that's all the smaller floating islands completed, so now we have to move on to the center island where we have to build a castle. So to start the castle, we're gonna make an outline. If you don't make an outline, you're bad. All right, there's our outline. Now let me build the walls up a little bit. Now that we have our walls built up, we can finally start decorating. Okay, I kind of like this design right here. Here. I think that fixed the villager problem, so now I'm gonna make a bridge going from here to here. After I finished the bridge, I decided to finish the rest of the castle in one big time lapse. That now is a good time to mention that all of these builds will be linked in my Discord server, so if you want to explore them for yourself, then join down below. Okay, so the second to last build is a boat. Now that we have our boat pasted in, I think I have some ideas on how to make it look better. To add some texture to it, you can actually replace some of the birch planks with some stripped birch wood. Another easy thing that I did was to replace the oak logs with oak wood. I think adding birch stairs and birch slabs to the hull of the ship might actually improve it a lot. Going to the interior of the ship, I'm noticing that it's really quite bland. So I think I'm gonna try doing the same thing I did with the outside and replace the oak planks in here with oak wood. And I also might actually try adding a design to these flags. Oh, I actually just kinda had a cool idea. What if I turned this whole thing into like a ghost pirate ship? I'm gonna start by replacing all the white wool with black wool and it kinda looks a little bit weird right now. Honestly, I'm actually quite liking it pretty good so far, but as you can tell, the bottom part of it doesn't quite contrast very good with the top part. 
While I was working on the deck area, I realized that there wasn't actually much detail on it. Along with adding some stairs around the edges, I also added some cannons. And I think that that's the boat completed. As you can tell, I added a couple of extra details on the actual deck of the ship, like some buttons and some waterlogged stairs. And now, for the very final build in the book. Yeah, that's right, it's the roller coaster. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. After 72 hours of work, I'm done.